friends. Uh, so my name is Brother Damien B. Sanders, and uh, I got a devotional this morning now. I'm not prepped and polished like most of my uh, brothers and sisters within the church, so I'll be reading from a tablet this morning. But the important point is, is that God is glorified and that you are encouraged to live today for Christ. Now, uh, now, this isn't my devotional. I uh, snagged it from uh, from the U version. I have a little folder in my iPhone where I keep uh, where I keep devotionals that I feel struck me in a very uh, poignant way. So, without further delay, here we go. And this 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 devotional specifically uh, is about the pressure uh, that we put on ourselves when we don't accept grace. So says, uh, the pressure to live well isn't on me or you. Jesus did it all as he lives in us. Grace works as we yield to him, living in and through us. Religion says, achieve, do, earn your validation, justify your very existence. The pressure to perform is on you. Jesus says, done, accepted, validated, justified. Pressure is off. The daily lot of those driven by religion is striving, anxiety, and ultimately exhaustion and burnout. Now, I know that feeling all too well because um, when I first came to Christ, I had a hard, hard time. And when I say first came to Christ, I mean like from when I first came to Christ to like later on in my walk, just accepting God's grace was so hard for me because nothing ever came easy, not acceptance, you know, not, 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 not love, I had to earn everything I had to work and sometimes I worked to no end like the people still weren't pleased and, and, and so I transferred that and I put it on to God so um, so this, this strikes me really really hard and if we're not careful we can end up projecting the feelings of, uh, of insecurity onto a God that we are so secure in once we know our promises amen so um, it goes on to say that um, the inheritance of the child of God led by Christ is freedom, joy, and peace. We all need that. Those who fall back on self-reliance and their own resourcefulness to navigate life, who have taken on the principles of the world, unwittingly or otherwise, will know the daily pressure to perform and be dogged by a constant sense of failing to reach an acceptable standard. Amen. For those who are dead to self, humbled and dependent, the pressure is off. Yet we so easily succumb to the trap of trying to resume control of our lives. Author Larry Crabb expresses it, expresses it well. We need to yield control over what happens in our lives and trust God to do whatever he thinks best. Until we develop a taste for God, we prefer a better life of blessing from God over a better hope of intimacy with him. That is deep. We prefer control over trust. And I know that has been the case in my life. I've preferred to control God. If, if, if I knew that I could uh, coerce him through my good behavior into giving me the perfect outcome, then that would make me feel so, so good that I wouldn't have to worry about trusting him to do whatever he believes is best, even if initially it doesn't strike me as, as it's the best for me. I can talk about so many situations where, where life just ended up um, dealing me some hard blows and, and only later on I see that, that that if it hadn't been for that I wouldn't have achieved this 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 trust that I have with God um, um, you were saved by grace and you'll grow by grace the law imposed the intolerable pressure to live perfectly in order to live well you now stand in the law of liberty. Stand tall. Live as free men and women. End of his quote. When praying and reflecting upon his ministry in John 17, Jesus said to his father, You have given me 12 times. Jesus' humble dependence on his father is stunning and freeing at the same time. It reminds us that we all receive. We receive by God's grace alone. We live to play a role in God's story. He is not in ours. 
He is God, we are not. He is central, we are peripheral. It is all about him, not about us. There is freedom in this truth. The pressure is off, amen. So I just wanna encourage you to go out there and live today with a, with a pressure off, just knowing that, um, that you can trust God. We could never control him. I know, I know the, the desire is to, but, but that we can trust him, the same God that you've trusted with your salvation, trust with your finances. This is a hard time for a lot of people right now. Um, and, um, and, 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 and trust, trust is the only thing that's gonna get us through. So I just want you to be encouraged, be blessed, and know that you're loved. Damien Sanders for Elements Church. Peace.